Hi YouTube. Well, it's another Cocktail Thursday here in just north of Tampa, Florida. I'm Annika Van Buren, my sometimes glamorous gilf. It's one of those dreary, gloomy days today. Um, the sun is not out and it rains off and on, so now the humidity is probably 105%. I know, that doesn't exist, <laughs> but that's exactly what it feels like today. So I thought I would do something sort of on the easy side today. This is not exactly a summer uh, special drink. This is an old standby that's been around for years and years and years. But believe it or not, I've never mixed this, the perfect martini before. I've always just used either gin or vodka. And in the very beginning, when I first started drinking martinis, and believe it or not, I was 23. When was that? I'm, I'm surprised I even remember. I remember the night. I remember the people that introduced us to martinis. It was so crazy. Uh, we were camping. My husband and my son and my daughter wasn't even born yet. We were camping on Cape Cod in one of the national parks. And our next door camping neighbors, we got acquainted with <coughs> and they introduced us to uh, a martini. Well, needless to say, <laughs> anyway, I won't go into details, but they still remain friends for years and years and years. And this is when we lived in um, upstate New York and uh, we would get together with them. They were in Worcester, Mass, and we would get together from time to time and they were about 15 years older than we were and we always loved hanging around with older couples um, because a lot of people our age and I was married very young didn't have children yet so anyway without further ado this is a perfect martini you're going to start with two ounces of gin well I hope there's enough in here one and this is the bigger side of the jigger. Ah, probably enough in there for another half of one if I have to mix it up again. So that was two ounces of gin. You could use your favorite, but I don't think it really matters. But why not use a good gin? Um, cheap gins are really awful. And they're an acquired taste to begin with, Jen. So get something good. That's a sapphire. You might like Google's or one of those better. That's a half ounce of dry vermouth. That's the white vermouth. And what I buy this for is when I'm cooking. So if a recipe calls for white wine, this is what I use. I don't use a $20 bottle of wine to pour into my, that's what they say you're supposed to do, but I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. And good cooks have been using vermouth for years, so. And a half ounce of sweet vermouth. Now, I made a confession. I told you I never mixed one of these up before. I've never had one of these up before because I am not a vermouth fan in my martini. When I order a martini out, it's dry. Just say the word vermouth over the top of the glass. That, that's how much vermouth I like in my drink. So I'm gonna shake this and I'm also gonna walk over to the fridge. And out of the freezer. Okay, well shaken. And Bond wouldn't have ordered one of these. He drank vodka martinis. Uh-oh, there's something in this glass. Look at that. I'm gonna have to go get another one. That 
that's strange, isn't it? Although that could be good for another use. Okay, so this is out of the freezer also. And we'll pour. Now, look at the difference. See the color? I'm gonna pour a lot of that. And you have the option of garnishing this with either a lemon peel or olives. I thought about this because when I make a vodka martini, I like blue cheese olives, but I don't know about blue cheese olives with gin. You can make some comments below and tell me what you think about that. So this would be my preference, but what the heck? Let's use both. Okay. <laughs> it's an experiment anyway. Okay, one perfect martini. Let's see what I think of it. Well, it's different, but you know what? Isn't that cool? I like it, although I would not drink this as it is because it would knock me right on my butt. That's straight booze, folks. And contrary to what some have said here, Granny is not a trunk. So, two ounces of gin, a half ounce each of extra dry vermouth and sweet vermouth. Pour over a shaker full of ice, shake it well, and you really want a chilled glass. If you don't have a freezer, uh, you can always take the glass itself pretend there's nothing in this, but actually this would be a good example. This is what they do at the bars, because they don't have room in freezers for them all the time. Sometimes they, do, they just put them in the refrigerator. They fill the glass with ice and immediately put in cold water. And then they let that sit on the bar top while they're getting everything together for the drink. Put it in the shaker shake it well and then when it's mixed well they empty the ice cubes in the ice water out of the glass <coughs> now excuse me now the glass is chilled and you prepare your martini so what am i wearing today remember that little bodysuit that i showed you the other day well i still haven't gotten rid of that seven eight pounds so i don't know Put this down and let you see what this looks like. I might, but I had this skirt for years, and it looks like they belong together, doesn't it? Here, I'll just do this for you. See, and there's the back. <coughs> and what am I wearing on my feet? Well, let me just move my orchid over here and move this forward a little. And see if you can see the shoes. They are platform sandals. And they're cork on the bottom with jute above that and then have gold nail heads. And these are something I've probably had for 15 years. I bought them in Las Vegas. What a tremendous place to shop. And it's not something you wear a lot, so they're still good. So I wore my hair a little differently today, as you can see. Tell me what you think. Okay, thanks for joining me. I will see you on Monday for just a day of chit chat, musing, wise thoughts, maybe, stupid thoughts, maybe, from moi, Annika Van Buren. Love you all. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified, just hit that little bell. Ding! And it will notify you when I have a new post. Love you all. Have an absolutely fabulous weekend. Namaste.